Hello guys, welcome to Hedaro. In this lesson, we're gonna go over filtering. So let's begin. We're gonna start by importing pandas. And the next step is we're gonna create a simple data frame. So let's start with creating our data. We'll create some fake data here. We'll call it the first column key and we'll put uh, values ABC on that column and the next column we'll call it value and we'll make up some data for it alright um, uh, let's create our data frame so after we created our fig data with variable D we're gonna pass it to our data frame method and there you go we have a data frame uh, two columns one is key one is value so filtering so uh, there's lots of ways to filter a data frame but we're gonna go through some simple ones so let's create a simple filter let's say we want to filter where the column key is equal to to a so if we run this and we see what's inside f1 you're gonna notice that it returns a, a data type boolean it returns this I think it's a series and you'll see that you'll see just true falses for each row in our data frame our data frame currently has three rows so the only one with key A is row zero so that one's true now if you want to see the actual data and you know if you if you're gonna filter it then you're gonna have to do the following you're gonna have to get your data frame and inside brackets you're gonna put your filter and it should only return the values were they're true so if we run this you'll see that you'll get your a now we could do multiple filters so if we go over here and we create let's create another one let's create filter 2 and let's say um let's go with c so if you wanted to do two of them so let's run this uh, let's get rid of this now if I wanted to do F1 and F2 uh, we'll have to go like this so F1 or F2 so it has to it has to be either or and if you run this we should get row 0 and row 2 right because row 0 is has a key of A and row 2 has the key of C so let's evaluate this and there you go you get A and C um, another cool thing if you guys haven't figured this out if you put this in parentheses F1 and F2 and if you want the opposite so not A or not C there's like a little tilde somewhere in the top left of your keyboard and if you run this, it'll give you the opposite, which, you know, the only the only one left is B. So when you run it, you'll get B. Um, and here, let's do one more so you guys can see how you could do a bunch of these. Let's try a different column. And let's say it's greater than 10. Oops, let's change this to F3. So we make a third filter and we'll say wherever the values are greater than 10 which is obviously going to be 0 and 1 you could create you could do this you could go and um, F3 so it has to be either 1 F1 either sorry it has to be it has to meet F1 or F2 those filters plus it has to be greater than 10 so what's the answer row zero row zero is either a or c a and the between a and c the only ones that are greater than 10 is value a so 
that's how you do some filtering in pandas. I hope you like this video. I'll see you next time.